Hey everyone! In this video, we'll dive into a cool web animation technique that animates an SVG line as you scroll down a web page. Let's get started. I've just created a quick website that looks like this. Nothing fancy, just a collection of images. Now, we will create our curved line using Figma. I'm setting up a desktop frame with a height of 3000 pixels because this roughly matches the length of our website page. Now draw your curve line in the pen tool. Use the bend tool to create curves along the edge and modify the shape of the line. Then copy it as SVG. Now in HTML file, create a container for our SVG. Then paste SVG code here. And here is our line. We want it to appear at the top of the page, so we will use position absolute to position it there. It's too thin, so we'll add a stroke width of 10 to make it thicker and change the color. Use Flexbox to make sure our line in the center. Now we will animate the line. First, we will grab our SVG and the path from the HTML. Then, we measure how long our path is using getTotalLength method. Now, we will start animate the path using stroke dash offset and stroke dash array. These are two properties used to create some really cool effects with SVG paths. The stroke dash array is turning your solid line into a dashed line. It's like saying, I want this much of the line to be visible, then this much to be invisible, then visible again, and so on. For example, if you set stroke dash array to 10, it means draw 10 pixels, then leave a 10 pixel gap, then draw 10 pixels again, and so on. So, if you set it to the total length of the path, it's as if you're saying, draw the whole line, then leave a gap as long as the whole line. So you end up with a completely visible line.
Now, using stroke dash offset specifies the amount of offset for the start of the dash pattern. So we will start from stroke dash offset to equal path length, which pushes the visible part of the line, the dash, out of view, making the line appear invisible at first. As stroke dash offset animates to zero, it gradually brings the visible part of the line into view, creating the drawing effect. Now I will use Scrub to make the animation respond to the user's scrolling behavior. And that's set. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development content.